Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Winston Schalsberg. Yes, I am here. Yeah, in a different position, different location. Today is a day to tell stories. Not just any story, but the Anansi West African trickster stories. I have four performances today, four times 45 minutes. And I'm telling you, well, you can hear my voice. Um, it's been a quite hectic the last two weeks because I had to do like work every day. I'm not complaining. So it was very busy. I didn't have enough time to recoup, to refresh my energy. But, and it's a big one, I'm here still and I want to do these performances the best I can. So just to give you a quick update, I'm in the pool now. And these are the seats they're preparing for us. So I think we're gonna get 80. It's like, a, you know, a minimum, minimum kind of setting. It's just me and the kids. I'm telling the story, they're listening, they're participating, it's interactive. I have my, my gear. This is my, I think this is the first African outfit I bought. I'm talking about the, what, 20 years ago, 22 years ago, I bought this stuff. And it was very interesting because it was in a uh, Nigerian shop. <laughs> they, they were selling fish and, and uh, bananas and, you know, uh, all that kind of stuff and African food. And I bought it because I think they tra they, 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 uh, the transport was in a, ba in a box with fish. So this stuff was like, no, seriously, smelling of, of uh, salt fish. So I had to like wash it and hang it out to dry for a week <laughs> to get the smell out of it. But it has character, so to see, you know, it's so like a, almost like a rainbow color. And uh, I will never get rid of this thing because it, it reminds me of how I started. And I'm looking into getting almost to 7,000 performances as a storyteller now. So you can imagine uh, it's been an a, a interesting ride. And yesterday I'm back doing it, doing it like the only way I know how to do it, telling the story, entertaining the kids, and uh, of course making money, sure, you don't forget that. Uh, maybe I'll stream some of it and then uh, you can have a, uh, a peek. So storytelling, you know, using, using all the skills that I've learned and the skills that I'm teaching people to understand the, the, the secrets behind storytelling you know it's you know what I say about the West method on and the moment you start to tell the story it's not about you anymore it's about the audience and uh, yeah things that's that's you know that's to sum it up that's the best advice I can give you if you if you're into storytelling because we all we all are if you're talking to people if you're presenting or uh, you're a performer or you're whatever. The moment you start to speak, to sing, open your mouth, it's not about you anymore. You have to entertain, make sure that they understand, and you have to do each and everything to make them understand that it's not about you. Okay? Just so I'll be telling the story today and I'll be, uh, um, I have to stretch because I'm like, my muscles are very stiff. Anyway. This is in Steinweg Land in The Hague. Uh, primary school, The Whistle. Okay, that's it. <laughs> this is my backdrop, just to give you a go. This is my backdrop. Just simple, simple stuff. Not too fancy. Just me, the kids, and the story. Okay. See ya. Bye.